What's up, what it do, cyber world? It's your girl, the one and only Ash Brown. And this is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. On this particular program, darlings, I talk a little bit about everything, anything, all of the things. Okay, it could be pop culture related, but it's probably Ash Brown related. So you got to stay tuned to see what I'm going to talk about. And um, this time of year is pretty significant for me uh, because it's around the time that I lost my mom. And this year is 10 years since her passing, which just seems surreal. It really does. But um, fortunately for me, she left me with some pretty awesome memories One of which, I believe I've talked about this maybe once or twice before, but we're going to talk about it again because I just feel like it and I feel festive and I feel like giving y'all a little something extra. And yeah, so my mom was my best friend on earth. When I tell you, she was this kid's best friend ever. She was the best mom that I could have ever been blessed with, point blank period. And I know that she's my angel up above and she's making some things happen for you, girl. It's just different. And I don't think I'll ever be okay with the fact that she's not here. But um, it's a reality, it's a reality. And so, when I say that she was my best friend, I actually mean it, okay? I was probably 21. Yeah, I think I was probably 21. And um, shout out to, you know, our RIP, I should say, to Club Mirage off Glenwood in Atlanta. Glenwood Avenue, an empty light foot. Thursday nights was... The chocolate Chippendales. All right. So these are the very ebony, very chocolate men of the city who would come out and celebrate life. (laughs) I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that they they definitely celebrated life. Um, We had a good time. They would just come out and it was all in good fun. They had little routines. They had songs that they would perform to nobody ever got nude like that's not even my that's not my jam I don't get down like that but they had cute costumes (laughs) they always had something you know covering the private area because nobody wants to go someplace to see that it's not necessarily the most attractive appendage but um, seeing them do routines and dancing and all the things, it was always a lot of fun. So it was every Thursday night. And at the time I was, I was at Columbus State. So it must've been probably around summertime or whatever. And I would be home and my friends would be like, yeah, girl, you know, we're going to go to Thursday, you know, free before 10, da, 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 da. All right, cool, cool. And I remember telling my mom about it because, you know, we were very open about talking about just pretty much anything. And I'll never forget, she turned to me and she was like, you didn't ask me if I wanted to go. And I was like, I didn't know you may want to go. Do you want to go, Ma? And she's like, yeah. (laughs) I was like, bet. You know, in that moment, she just showed how cool she was, how down she was. And... I remember in a moment being like, wow, my mom is pretty fucking cool. (laughs) She's pretty damn cool. And sure enough, we went to go see the Chocolate Chippendales, y'all. She had a ball. Oh, my gosh. She had a ball. She absolutely had a ball. And um, like I said, it was a pretty just fun atmosphere. You tip the dancers. You know, she'd always hand them, you know, and... You know, I'd make sure I'd, you know, you know, tuck and, and, and 
make sure that the men were, you know, they got their tips in. You know, that's important for them to get their tips. You got to pay for the family. All the things, right? And on top of that, I started taking her to um, these quarterly events that would happen, like, downtown Atlanta, um, Capitol Avenue, Holiday Inn. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't. I think it's actually gone now. I don't think it's even the Holiday Inn anymore. But they used to um, Luscious. Shout out to Luscious and the crew. He would do events like for Mother's Day, or I may take her for her birthday, or Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, Labor Day, things like that. And we would go, and you know, a lot of times it would be catered. So. You know, we, me and my mom always did VIP. Me and my, no, because we not standing up for nobody. No, we do VIP. We VIP, okay? So we would do VIP. And it was just a really just fun, fun atmosphere. And yeah, it would be like a Saturday night. And I would take her to go be, <laughs> to go be a student in the morning at church on Sunday. You know, we weren't out all crazy hours of the night. Like, typically, an event like that would be over at, like, probably, like, 10 or 11 p.m. So, that's plenty of time to get back. And, you know, we just had fun. And I miss her. I miss her every single day. A lot of the things that we talked about doing... I was blessed enough to be able to do. I just didn't realize that it would be without her. In the past decade, I have been so blessed to do amazing things. From traveling the country, being featured on television, starting my own brand, having my podcast take over. And I know my angels up above, you know, my Donna Teresa, my grandma Louise. I know that they had something to do with a lot of that because it was stuff that they didn't get to do. So I just try to remind myself that they're living through me. And That's how I'm able to push forward. Because I know that I'll never experience love like that again. It's not possible. I understand that. And I know that I won't see them again in this life. But it's so, so painful sometimes. So, I didn't want this to be a sappy <laughs> episode, but um, I still get choked up, and I'm okay with that. A lot of people were saying like, oh, well, you know, it gets better. You know, it won't hurt as much one day. It still hurts. It still hurts. So... If you're out there and you're fortunate enough to have your mom still with you. And she was a good mom. She was a great mom. She tried. Celebrate that lady. Send her flowers. For no reason at all. Not because of holidays. Not because of birthday or anything. Send her some random dozen flowers. I used to do that for my mom because you always say, I want my flowers now while I can enjoy them, while I can smell them. So I would send her roses and I would send her all kinds of things at her job. And she got a kick out of it. She did. And she's like, I don't know what I did to have such a wonderful job. So, if you're out there 
and your mother did her best for you, you should celebrate her. Celebrate her in her own way. Now, I'm not saying you got to take her to the strip club. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just sharing a little bit about my story and me and my mom. But you don't know how much time you have with them. You don't. Here, I thought, at the minimum, I got a, another 20 years with my mom. And I didn't. I didn't have that time, but I have no regrets. I wish I could have done more for her, but I'm so grateful that I was able to do the things that I I did do for her and she appreciated it. So it's holiday season. Just remember, there are people out there that may paint a smile on and may seem to have so much cheer and joy. I understand there's a lot of people out there that are hurting. They're hurting for any numerous reasons and it has nothing to do with you. But it goes back to appreciating life, appreciating those people that love you, and continuing to be a vessel for good. Regardless of what people may wish on you, the good you do lives after you. My grandma Lou would always tell me that. The good you do lives after you. And there's no sense in two bad spirits just walking around causing havoc on everyone. Be a better pillar. Be a better person. And yeah, so sure wasn't thinking that tears were on the menu for the day. <laughs> that was not a part of my goal. But um, I understand that... Uh, it's a part of the process. And it's like, I have, my face is all wet from tears and everything. And I can hear my mom saying, whenever I was having like an issue or I was upset about something and I would be crying, she would turn to me. And she'd say, save your tears for when your mom is gone. And I'd be like, don't say that. Stop saying stuff like that. (laughs) And it's become my reality. I've never cried this much in my whole life. And that's all that I'm left with is just tears. So, I just say today, celebrate those people that celebrate you. Love on those people that love on you. And keep fighting. Stay in the fight. That's all.